Hello everyone, um, Tiny Blue here, and I'm going to be making my first video, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm a little bit awkward, I haven't done this before, uh, especially with like my actual voice in, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own resource pack for Isle of Burke. I've decided to do this because I know that now, it, it might seem pretty simple to some of you guys, but I wanted to start doing it a while ago and I found it incredibly difficult to figure out what I was supposed to be doing, more so with the redirects and stuff like that. But I have put together a pack for everyone that has all of the redirects already in, which hopefully they should work. If they don't work, there will be places you can ask me for help, um, as well as having all dragons have a folder. And if you open the folders, there will be the geo in there for when you want to create your texture. So, how do you get the texture or the base pack? I will leave a link to my Discord in the description of the video, which will have... You can join and you can post your own resource packs, talk to people, or you can simply just join to grab this. This will be updated later once I've finished the tutorial, but for purposes of showing you this is this is the pack you will click you continue to download I swear I've not given you guys anything bad and then grab the pack I uh, will just I've already got one on the desktop but so now you have your pack and to actually get it to work in game you're gonna want to drag and drop that out of there so I already have it just here, which means I don't need to do it, but you need to take this out because the zip file will not work. And then you come to Discord, I not Discord, um, CurseForge, or, or ModRinth, I've not used ModRinth so I can't help you there, I'm a CurseForge user, but it should work the same. You will open your folder for the mod pack, it sh it, you will need to have I Love Burke Variant Loader and Isle of Burke or Dragons of Burke, you need those, it won't work otherwise. And you will come to resource packs and you will put it in here. You need to make sure that you load your game before, like before going on to the rest of the tutorial to make sure that the pack actually shows up in your game because otherwise you're going to create a texture and then go, why is it not working? Sometimes they're just a bit weird and they don't work. Try re download it and or ask for help somewhere I can try and help mine did it before I'd downloaded somebody else's pack I did the whole unzipping and whatever else and it didn't want to work um, but make sure it shows up when you enable the resource packs on your world just like any other resource pack I will show you later so now you have your pack you have your tutorial pack what do you want to do so I have included a few skins in here already. There is a there's a nada, a zippleback, a triple strike, a terrible terror, and a stinger. I think that's all I did, so you can keep those. Use them if you would like. For purposes of the video, they're all called base whatever it is. So on every single redirect. It is base whatever. To add your own, you will need to copy this and paste it, and I will show you what to change later, but I'm just showing you now as well. So, as you redirect, you've got it. So there's a couple, a couple in there that work already. I will leave some summon commands in the description of the video too, so you can just copy and paste them straight into here. Okay, right, so now, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to open model, so what are you going to want, if I come to desktop, um, come into top pack, assets, Isle of Burke, textures, dragons, and whatever you want to do. So, I'll do a monstrous nightmare. Nightmare, you want the geo. So, but it's going to look like this, and this is not what you want. So you are going to need the Isle of Burke mod on your desktop. You're going to want something like WinRAR to be able to open it so that it comes up like this. Go into Assets, Isle of Burke, Textures, Dragons, whatever dragon you are looking for and just take one of these. Don't think it really matters too much but I'm going to take the Hook Fang PNG. 
Now you are back into Blockbench, import the texture wherever you've just grabbed that base texture from, open it there. So now you have a texture, you can start editing, you can change colours, do what you want. And I know you can edit and add other spikes or whatever else you want to the dragons. I've seen people do it. I do not know how to do this. If I figure this out at a later date, I will show you, but I do not know how to do this myself. I will not be able to help you with this. I only know how to create a resource pack by changing the colours of these base models as of right now. I'm very new to this. But I'm going to be showing you some of the tricks that I've learned when painting. Sorry, the dog started back and I had to go and sort them out. I think I was at the heterochromia and the duplicating part. So, it does this. I asked someone in another server and they said you had to redo the UV. I did try that and it did not work. I couldn't get it to work. But if I figure it out at some other point, I will let you guys know. But it's the same for the wings. It does that. So it duplicates, which is like fine. I quite enjoy that it does it on the wings and stuff because it's very useful. But anyway, so say you just wanted, you just wanted to change the colours. You don't want to do anything else, no patterns or markings. You simply just want to change the colours. What you can do is you can come to paint, expand this, grab your paint bucket and change it to colours. And then any colour you click on on here will change to whatever colour you want. So blue. I want blue and all of that colour will change to blue and then you can change it gradually through the PNG if you would like and eventually it will colour all of it and change it. That's something I found quite useful if I just wanted to change the colour of something, not necessarily the pattern. Um, you can change a pattern, you can do literally anything you want. So you could make some swirlies on the wings or whatever you want. You do want to be careful when you are drawing. Do you see this? So I'm not too sure why it does it. But sometimes when you're drawing on the actual model, it will come up here. This will stick off of your dragon. I'll show you an example of this later today. But when I made my first pack, I gave my dragon Stella some swells on her wings. And they stick off. They also did it with my other Night Fury that I textured. You don't, you don't want that. You just have to keep trying and drawing again and figure out where on the model it won't work. Sometimes it's easiest to just draw straight onto here and have this in the corner with like reference and just however works for you. But make sure you don't have those bits sticking off on the wings, for example, because it, it'll just cause issues and it'll stick up and look weird. Um. So you can you can even you can make him bald, you can remove these spikes if you wanna just erase them. Literally just do what you wanna. Um the grid No, nope, not that one. This, you can turn it off. I find it quite annoying so I turn it off. But you don't have to, that's what you that's what you click. Painting grid. This does not work before anyone asks or before you try it. It does not work to stop the mirroring. It doesn't. That's so don't try that. It'll still do the same mirroring thing. So I'm gonna keep this. This is gonna be what I use as an example for when we are in the game. So I'm gonna save as and I'm just gonna call it base base nightmare. I'm gonna take it into Tut Park, Assets, Isle of Burke, Textures, Dragons and find the nightmare and save it in there. So now we've got the nightmare. We've got the monstrous nightmare. So you come, just check, textures, dragons, nightmare. So it's in there. Now, if, so I already have base nightmare in the redirect. If you want to add your own dragon, so let me go and grab my own, my own dragon. Let's see, okay. Sunburst. We will grab Sunburst for this example. So if I bring Sunburst into our tut park, she will not summon unless I put her in the redirect. So what you want to do when you're redirecting things, you come in and you find whatever dragon it is, you open with notepad. Open it with notepad and you'll get this. Whatever dragon it is, you want to summon in. You're going to want to copy and paste that just like this. 
and you will change this to whatever the name is so sun sunburst let me check that I've definitely spelled that right sunburst yes sunburst and then you're gonna wanna change this one to the same so this is whatever you call your PNG, whatever you name it when you are saving it, that is what this will be. You want to make sure that the saddle is just the base saddle. You can create your own saddles. I do not know how to do this. Right now, I am working on it. When I figure this out, I will release another tutorial on how to do this. But for now, you just Light Fury Saddle PNG, make sure the animation is the right animation, and then press File and Save. Make sure you save it. So now you have your dragon, you have your dragon, you're excited, you want to use it in your game. So you're going to want to come, open the folder, resource packs, and when you go to your resource packs, you grab the tutorial pack. Now I already have it in there so I'm just going to replace it, but yours shouldn't say that unless you put it in earlier in the tutorial to check that it will show up in game. And then you will go and you will load your game. Okay, so now you are in the game. These are some of the dragons I have created. A couple of them are in the pack. There's the hideous sipple bark, the triple strike. This was just me testing and then I can show you guys a few of them. So you want to make sure your resource pack is enabled. You will swipe it across with the little arrow. Make sure it's up, working, done. It'll reload your game. You will come back into the game and I will leave summon commands for them in the description but it will be so I will grab so this says night fury but I'm just going to delete that into uh, monstrous nightmare and then is it this nightmare or nightmare this I think it was this nightmare there we go! He's spawned, he's summoned, he's mine. He worked. So I'll move him just over here for now. Use sat on a tree. There you go. I'll do the same thing, show you with my other redirect that I've, I've typed back in. So we will go here, we will type sun, sunburst, and then just change this to light fury. You won't have to change the I Love Berg Dragon type. I'm just going to leave every dragon in the description so you don't have to retype it out so the spelling stays the same or whatever. But this is Sunburst. She spawned in. Again, I've got one up there already. But see, this works. And it's difficult to get the hang of at first, but once you know it, it's very simple. Kind of the same process over and over, creating your own dragons. But I've got a couple um, I will show you. So this is another one from the base. From the base. This is what I meant about the wings. You see Stella's wings, they have the squiggles that pop off at the edges. You can't see it as much when she's flying, but they're definitely still there. But they pop off. You just need to make sure you erase them out with the PNG like I did earlier. I didn't know this was the first one I ever made. I just wanted to, it was more just a test to see if I could get the packs working before I actually create some skins like these ones. Um, but she's a very pretty dragon and she works and I will just go back in later and take that out. I only kept it in so that you guys could see what I was on about. But other than that, there's nothing else for me really to add. We've got some nice dragons, you finally able to make your own. As I said earlier, um, description, go join the discord, download the pack, use the discord when you need help. And if you figured things out and other players need help, feel free to help those people too. I have had a lot of help in my journey of figuring how to do this. I didn't know what I was doing. I do now, which is why I'm helping you guys. But yeah, so feel free, join Discord, use it for your own thing. Mate, you can keep the dragon skins that I've created in there already, or you can delete them. Do as you please. It's up to you. It will be your pack once you've downloaded it. But have fun. And feel free to show us and share your creations in the Discord too. I'd love to see what you guys make with your dragons and with this tutorial. Ah, now his eyes have just reminded me of something. I knew I'd forgotten to mention something. When you create 
glowing. His eyes glow. So, slash, time. Oh my god. So tonight. You see his eyes, his eyes glow. Um, someone else's eyes glow, I just don't remember whose. Mm, I think Sunburst is supposed to, but I didn't put the PNG in. But, you see, the eyes have a glow. It's the same principle with the Nada I'm going to show you in my pack now. So, in my own pack, which is somewhere... Do this one. I'm not sure where it is, but I can show you in the top pack. So, the top pack has the Nada, which is why I did the Nada, so I could show you guys this. But, if you come in... You can see there's the nada, and then there's the membranes. You need to make sure you get the nada and the membranes because otherwise your, your nada will not have wings. So I will bring this in, I will show you. So when you open it and you put the PNG on, whatever PNG you put on, it will not have wings. That's because for some reason you colour the nada's wings separately to the be the rest of it. I'm not quite sure why, but it does. It sorts itself out when you add it in. Just make sure you name it the same as whatever's here, so base nada or whatever you name it. Underscore membranes. It needs to say that, otherwise it won't. It will not work. So make sure you do that. It's pretty easy. It's the same principle with glowing. If I wanted something to glow, I would name it the same thing. The same thing. Underscore glowing. And it will do it itself. It will sort itself out. There is no directory that you need to do with it. It will do it. If it doesn't, drop a message in the Discord. I'll try my best to help out. I got it working first try, but I know that it's different for everyone, and we don't all we don't all know. So it's okay. If you need help, let us know. But other than that, I think I've said everything I need to say. So have fun. And yeah, hopefully this helped and I will have more tutorials for things later, like creating your own models or the saddles, how to get those to work later on.